As cliche as it sounds, the start of a new year presents us with the opportunity to start fresh, to renew our intentions and to reflect upon the year before. It allows us to reinvent ourselves and somewhat pick from the traits we love and the traits we may not love so much about ourselves. I like to use the term control the controllables, meaning in life there are just so many things that we can't control um, and for those things we just have to let go. But there are so many aspects of life that we can control um, and we can control these through building excellent routines, through habits and through certain behaviours. So at the end of every year and the start of a new year, I like to run through a set of tasks to ensure that I have reset, reflected and refreshed for the new year. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing those tasks with you. And this allows me to start the new year with a sense of calm and preparedness. Subscribe to see more from me and let's get started. So the first way I like to do this is by clearing my online spaces. Now this includes my online spaces such as my laptop, um, this includes my iPad, it includes my phone, things like unfollowing people that I don't necessarily want to see on my feed, deleting apps that I no longer use, clearing documents on my download in my laptop, even things like backing up my phone and my digital files. It's really important that these things are done so you have a sense of sort of having a fresh mind and an empty mind space, allowing you to work more productively and more efficiently. I personally find that decluttering my inbox, so my emails and my DMs on Instagram and Twitter is very therapeutic and it's something that I actually <laughs> leave uh, behind and I procrastinate about quite often and it bothers me it bothers me that I have all these messages that I haven't responded to it bothers me that my emails are unread and so it's something that I feel like I have to do every so often to give myself sort of declutter my mind as well as declutter my online space so it's one of the things that I always always try to do as often as possible and particularly at the start of a new year and also I find that formatting any unused SD cards also puts me in a good position to be able to film quickly to be able to create content um, and to be able to just have everything sort of in place and to know where all of my kind of content is kept. The second thing that I like to do is to reflect on the past year and this is reflecting both on the positives, the accomplishments and also the negatives, the things that could have gone better and the things that I could have improved on and how I learned from these mistakes, how I learned from these downfalls. I think about what I'm proud of, I think about what others would say that they're proud of about me and I think about my productivity and reflect upon that and ask myself some questions like did I work as hard as I possibly could? was i as you know as intelligent with my time as i possibly could be did i use it as wisely as i tried to and if i didn't that's absolutely fine just try again the third thing i like to do and i think this is probably one of the most important things is to prepare for january now january is the start of the new year it's also the start of a fresh new month and it's important that we set our goals and to set our goals i like to use this sort of what why and how structure um, it really helps to define and distinguish the way that i'm going to achieve the goal and sort of why it is a goal in the first place the next thing i like to do is to clear my physical spaces now this includes all the spaces in my house so you know that drawer that we all have that wardrobe uh, cupboard that we all have that's messy those shoes that we haven't touched in ages things that we you know that, that clutter up our space in, in, in our physical space and that's as important as our online space our mental space our digital spaces our physical space is just as important for productivity and for kind of resetting that mindset and so one of the things i do is go to the kids room for example and just kind of tidy the toys move some toys from the back to the front so it's kind of like a refresher tidy the clothes get rid of small clothes kids go through and grow out of clothes so quickly that it's important that i kind of get rid of the ones that are too small for them now um, and you know i spend pretty much more time in their wardrobe than i do in my own so having their wardrobe nice and neat means that my mindset will be nice and neat and we can just get out of the house nice and quickly the last thing that i like to do is to think about my core values and how they will manifest this year now thinking about your core values means that you have an overarching goal you have an overarching sort of ethos that you want to live your life by and this means that everything that you do will be determined by that ethos you want to be a change maker for a specific group of people then anything that you decide to do this year you will always think about that you that connect that core value does what you want to do does that fit within your core values to have that mindset because then you know 
what you should be doing and maybe it helps with deciding what maybe is a waste of your time i hope that you enjoyed watching this video and i hope that it kind of helped you think about some things that you can do to start the year it's never too late even though we're a week into january it's definitely not too late to start your goals and think about them um if you enjoyed this video please leave me a subscribe um and don't forget to leave me a comment as well and i'll see you guys in my next one bye